smell and I'll check my adobo kangkong. Hi everyone, it's Kathy here. Welcome to my channel. Even though we just got back from Philippines, but I still missing eating Filipino food. And so um, um, I decided to put this kangkong because I want to cook a dobong kangkong for my lunch today. Kangkong, look at that. They don't look really that fresh, but I think this still looks all right. So I have to separate now. The, that still looks good to cook and yeah. That one is still right if I hear that sound like that But um, um, I got it from what I um, separate from the this one here um, Some of them are a bit um, not um, Not good enough so I have just to pick the good ones and uh, Some of them already drum looks very old leaves so I'll just pick the best so that's what's left from the bunch that I bought yesterday. Anyway, I'll just give it a good wash and cook. I have to wash it about three times so it's really properly washed. Because there are still a, um, like dark left, like maybe from old leaves, so I don't wanna hit that one. So I have to give it a wash for three times so my init na po yung um, kalan so I'll have to put now this garlic oh I like the smell of garlic I always like Lots and lots of garlic every time I do my cooking. Just leave it a little bit brown and then I'll put the um, kong kong. I'm going to put um, also there um, fried rice, uh, fried fish. A trick here for you to learn for those um, Filipinos who live abroad. If your neighbor or your husband doesn't like the smell of your fish, um, I cover it with olive oil so it minimizes the smell. I also put um, incense. That's very hot. And now I cover it with olive oil like that, so it minimizes the smell. So I am uh, in fish bowl. I cover it with olive oil so it minimizes the smell. And I'll check my adobo kangkong. I use this type of soy sauce. It's more um, more healthy type of um, soy sauce. Still cooking and uh, the, the cover is still on. Wow, so I turn it off now so the heat will the heat still cook even though it's off. So I'll check now my fish. Open it. 
very well. So that's what it looks like. One in the car and then turn over, cover again. So the neighbor will not be um, annoyed to be a client because of the smell or even your husband. So I hope you learned from my tip about when you cook your dried fish or fish to cover it so it minimizes the smell. Well, lunch is now ready. I got now this my favorite adobong kangkong with rice of course and my fried fish you've been wondering why i took off the cut off the head because um from what i have observed if you fry fish with the head i think it gives more stinky smell so i um i decided then to cut off the head and of course you have to cover it with alcohol so Mm, I have noticed that there is not much smell in so I hope that you learned from my tip today and I hope to see you again on my next video till next time bye